What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV. Canes, all canes, all day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. Some news to talk about. Sam McCall is no longer with Florida State. And instantly, when something like this happens, the first thing people say is he's going to be a Florida Gator or he's going to be a Miami Hurricane. So let's talk about could Sam McCall become a Miami Hurricane. First things first, there's been no reports of Miami reaching out to Sam McCall. There's been no reports that Mario and his staff is going to recruit Sam McCall to, co to, to come to Miami. This is just a conversation that I want to have. First of all, what happened with Sam McCall at Florida State? Sam McCall was a highly touted player. The number one player in their last recruiting class came in as a true freshman. Many people thought that he would start right, right away, but he didn't. Uh, they put him on kick returns. They put him at safety. They put him at corner, but he could never get consistent playing time. He goes into the transfer portal. Then people get in his ear. He comes out of the transfer portal. And then tonight he went on IG Live talking about how basically Florida State and the coaches, they did him wrong. That's, that's basically what he was saying on his IG Live that has been since deleted. And now he's not just in the transfer portal. He is off of Florida State roster. So there is a breakup. And of course, people say, well, is Miami going to take a look at him? Let's look at the connections Sam McCall to Miami. Really, the only connections that I can pinpoint is Sam McCall did play ball with Miami's highest recruit in this class, Cromani McClain. And then Lance Leggett, the former Miami Hurricane, did have some type of NIL deal with Sam McCall and his Taste One Peanuts brand. So there's a couple connections there. Besides that, that's the only connections that I can think of. If you can think of more, let me know your answers in the comments. Now, reasons why Miami would want Sam McCall. One, he's a young talent that can be developed. This is a kid who can play corner, possibly safety. And Miami just lost Tyreek Stevenson. They just lost Avante Williams. The cornerback position hasn't been a position that has been played well. It hasn't been a position that Miami has depth in. So, it would make sense that, hey, you know, you look at this kid. Uh, if he has raw talent, you bring him in. Maybe Coach Adai, maybe Mario, maybe still can can develop this kid. And he can't be a starter because this is a kid. Like I said, when you look at the measurables, and you look at the athletic ability, and you look at his high school tape, was set to be a starter for a couple years at a Power 5 program. Didn't work out at Florida State. Maybe his next stop, it will. So I understand saying, hey, Go get this young kid at a position of need, develop him up, and we got a young talent for the next couple of years. On the other side of that, when I look at where Miami is right now, we are in roster turnover mode, and we're not just in, oh, let's add some players from the transfer portal. The key to this offseason is Miami is getting all the players that does not fit the Mario Cristobal standard. They're getting them out of here. They want them to hit the door. If you're not about the grind, you heard what Cam said. If you're not about grinding, we wish you the best. Farewell. We're not in the market to change people's mindsets. We are in the market of bringing players in who have the mindset of they're going to grind for what they want. They're going to grind to get these dubs. They're going to grind to reach the next level. They're going to grind for the Miami Hurricanes. If Miami was a senior-led locker room, it would make sense to go get a kid like Sam McCall. Now, some of you may be saying, well, what, why do you keep saying uh, uh, a kid like Sam McCall? What did Sam McCall do? This is just my opinion. If a player is making a scene about playing time, when you're having your best season that you've had in years, then I think it's something, it's something wrong with that. It's something wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a player wanting to play more because these kids are very competitive. Everybody's competitive. I'm competitive. You're competitive. Everybody thinks that they are good, you know, if you're a competitor. But it's how you handle that. He thought he should have got playing time. What did he do? I'm not getting playing time, then I'm going to be upset. I'm going to enter the transfer portal. Oh, I'm not going to enter the transfer portal. 
And then tonight, instead of just going into the transfer portal, he jumps on IG, IG Live. This is it. I wouldn't even fault him if Florida State was having a horrible season like they've had the last couple years. I don't get mad at anybody for that. But let's be honest, Florida State has had a good season, a season that they're excited about. You know, they didn't beat any ranked teams or anything like that, but they beat us. They, you know, they're kumbaya and they, 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 you know, if you talk, if you talk to a Florida State fan today, they feel like they Alabama, they Clemson, they uh, Georgia. They, that's how big, that's how big and bad they talking. So they feel good about their program. The coaches feel good about their program. The media, everybody's feeling good. And then there's a guy over here who's not sitting with his teammates during games, who is verbally going to the going to his Instagram live and saying this and that. I just don't think Miami needs that. And I believe like that is the negative cloud that's going to follow Sam when he's trying to find his next spot. So my question to you is this, if Mario asks you, Hey, should we recruit Sam McCall to the Miami hurricanes? What would you say? Let me know in the comments. I'm out. Peace.